Hey friends, do you like peppers? If so, let me know in the comment what your favorite pepper is. Good morning friends and welcome back to the homestead. So it is February 1st and I have a bunch of seeds that I need to get started on today. So we are gonna head to the pump house and get to planting. All right, we are inside the pump house and it is cold in here. It's about 30 degrees outside and it feels about 50 degrees here inside the pump house. So I've got the pups with me and I decided to go ahead and bring our heater in here so we can all be nice and warm while we go ahead and plant some seeds. All right, friends, so I am so excited to get started on my peppers. I did not start peppers until mid-March last year and they were just so small by the time I was able to transplant them out. I didn't actually transplant them out until almost June when they had gotten much bigger. So I'm starting them a whole month and a half earlier. And according to the Farmer's Almanac, I am supposed to start them February 1st. And that is today. Today is February 1st. So we're gonna get started on peppers. Let me show you what I'm gonna be doing with planting the peppers. I'm gonna use painter's tape and I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna label the painter's tape. And I am gonna go ahead and write on each of these so I know what is what. I don't wanna stick any long sticks in there. Last year I tried the popsicle sticks and guess what? Those molded. So I'm not doing popsicle sticks this year. I'm not going and buying a bunch of these little labelers. I found this in the garage. So I'll, I'll use this for something else but I'm not gonna use that for starting my seeds. So I've got 12 rows and I have about 12 different types of seeds that I'm gonna plant. So I'm gonna first go through and label everything and then I'm gonna get started on my seeds. All right, friends, and here we are. I've got my trays all labeled with all the different peppers that I'm gonna be growing. Now I just need to get started on filling this with the soil and then we'll go ahead and put our seeds in. All right friends, so real quick, I'm gonna show you what type of peppers I will be planting. I will be doing cayenne peppers again. I love the cayenne peppers. I really enjoyed the wing sauce that I made. So I wanna make a, I do wanna grow a bunch of those so that I can continue to can my own wing sauce because it was amazing. A new one for me this year is gonna be the Anaheim chili. I'm hoping I can use this when it comes to making my enchilada sauce. I'm gonna try the Poblano chili again. And my good friend Monica, she sent me some more amazing seeds she gets these new mexico chilies from new mexico and she's been sending me the seeds so that i can grow my own new mexico chilies my father-in-law is from new mexico and he absolutely loves hot chilies my husband not so much me not so much but my father-in-law absolutely loves his hot hot chilies so she sent me a bunch of these chilies. I've got the sandia chilies, some hatch green chilies, New Mexico big gym chilies, New Mexico green chilies, and some banana peppers. She also sent me some jalapeno seeds. So I will be planting these. I'm gonna actually be doing two rows of the jalapenos because I really enjoyed the jalapenos that I fermented and turned into a jalapeno sauce. That was really good and it wasn't that hot for me. So I really enjoyed those jalapenos. So I will be doing that for me as well as my father-in-law also loves his jalapenos. I am going to be growing two rows. So it'll be a total of 12 plants if they all take, fingers crossed. And then she also sent me some of her bell pepper seeds. So I'm going to be planting these bell pepper seeds. And then I have some sweet California Wonder bell peppers that I'll be planting as well. So I'm gonna be doing two rows of bell peppers because we love our bell peppers. And you can freeze those and use them all year long. All right, let's get to planting.
All right, friends, so now my seeds are all done and they're ready to go inside with the heat lamp. Same with the onions. You need to have a cover over them until they sprout. Once they sprout, you can go ahead and remove the cover and just let them continue to grow. All right, so let's go inside. All right, friends, so we are inside the house and this is the bedroom that I have my grow lights in and my onion seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this tray of peppers next to my onion seeds and then let me give you an update on how great my onions are doing. All right, friends, so here are my onion seeds. It has been 10 days since I planted these. These are the burgundy reds and they're all popped up pretty much. Over here is my Jumbo Utah. This whole tray here is my Walla Walla onions. And I've only got a couple that have popped up. So this one is definitely taking longer. I can see that they're starting to come up. These ones I noticed uh, popping up within seven days. You can see a lot of them are pretty long. When it's time to water, I just go ahead and use this and I just spray them. That way I know they're getting plenty of water and not too much water. I have a tendency to overwater things. So that is it for my onions. I have them in the window so whenever the sun is shining it shines through right on these and I still have the grow lights on them. All right, friends, thanks for stopping by the homestead today as I get started on my peppers. I am so excited for spring. I cannot wait to get into the garden and I can't wait till it warms up. I do love this weather, but it's a little bit too cold for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.